In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add an Instagram feed to your WordPress website using a plugin by Smash Balloon. So, when you're logged into your WordPress website, you're going to go down to plugins and add new to add the plugin. We're going to search for Smash Balloon. And when the results pop up, we're going to choose Smash Balloon Social Photo Feed, formerly Instagram Feed, by Smash Balloon. So, we're going to install that, activate it. And once it's activated, we can scroll down to settings from here or on the left-hand menu, there is Instagram feed. I'm just going to click on Instagram feed and now we can start adding Instagram to our Facebook, to our WordPress page. So I'm going to click on add new here and we can add in a user timeline. If you have the pro version, you can add in a hashtag, tagged post or the social wall, which is a combination of networks. So uh, if you want to check out any of Smash Balloon's pro features, just check out the link in the description below. Otherwise, I'm going to click on user timeline and click next. We need to add a source to our timeline. It's going to take us to the Smash Balloon website. And we're going to log in. We're going to turn this one off. I'm going to you can turn that on or off. It's up to you. And I'm going to log in with Instagram. However, I'm using a business account, so I'm going to choose business so I can log in through Facebook. But we'll try personal and see how we go. As you can see here, it wants me to allow access to my Instagram account. I click allow. And now I have my account right here. So now I can now tick that account and click next. And it gives us a little bit of information such as where to embed the feed from, where we can customize it, where the settings are. So we can go here to our sources and change the timeline or edit our sources. Um, we can add some filters, which are more sort of pro features. But what we want to focus mostly on is we can see our feed over here, a little preview of it and the images associated. I want to go to customize so I can change the layout, get things looking the way I want. So I'm going to go here to feed layout and you see I've got grid, and there are a few other options, but they are pro features, so I can't really show you that here. But I can adjust the feed height to say maybe 900 pixels, or if I make it even less, say 500, so you can see you get a little scroll here. Um, you can also add in more padding, like 15, create more space between each image, and you also change the number of posts. So I can even just make this four, if I only want four there. There's a little follow on Instagram button. I'm going to keep it at 20 so we have plenty of posts and I'm just going to remove this feed height so it just naturally populates down the page. The other thing too is where we have our columns we can change that to as many as 10 which looks a bit crazy or we can go back to say 2. We can customize our number of columns by desktop, tablet or mobile. So if you're on a mobile you only want one column, two might be a bit too small and that way you can customize the look of the feed pretty easily. So I'm going to head back customize and we can also change our color scheme which we want to inherit from the theme but you can also choose light which is a white background or dark or you can set things up custom by adding colors in here but I'm going to inherit with the theme by now so it matches the look of my website and now I'm going to go down to header which is this area here we can either turn it off or turn it on and we can change the size of the header here and we can also add a custom avatar. So if I want to add an image in here, maybe I just pick one like this cat cup. It'll add that in there. Or I can choose my logo if it happens to be on here, which in this case, the logo for this uh, account isn't, but I'll just choose this one. So we have our, we add our logo on there if we want to do that. We also change the color of the text to say black. We can also show the bio text. Uh, it doesn't seem to be showing up, but we can add in a custom bio, like something like that. And once it's show outside the scrollable area, I'm not exactly sure what that does, <laughs> but it's there, I guess. Oh, I see. The height of the feed. Cool. Uh, otherwise, there's some advanced pro settings to check out, such as including stories, uh, changing the header style a bit more. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with that look, so I'm going to head back out. And then, of course, we've got the posts themselves, images and videos. Uh, we can choose the resolution, so full size or thumbnail. So if you want to save on size, you can choose thumbnail if you want to, but then the, the quality will be downplayed, so we're going to click auto detect. We've got our load more button down the bottom here. 
people can press to load more posts. I can change that color to something very outstanding like red or maybe something a little less aggressive like this. It doesn't really matter. The hover state could be something exciting. So you get this red overlay and you can just change the text to a different color like yellow if you want it to really stand out. So you get something a bit different. Now, infinite scroll is another pro feature, which means you just keep scrolling until you reach the end of the feed. And then we also have a follow button down here. So follow on Instagram. I can change that to follow me on Instagram or something like that. And I can change the background color to say black, something like that. So I can change all those colors quite easily and customize. And then of course we have Lightbox, another pro setting, because if we click on this, we do want to show up, but at the moment, I believe it just opens up the link to the Instagram page. But essentially, we're happy with that and we're good to go. So I'm gonna save this, I'm happy with the layout, and now I'm gonna embed it onto my page. So I'm gonna click the embed button and I'm going to copy this short code. And I'm gonna actually add a new page here. I'm going to add latest from Instagram. And I'm gonna add a block here for short code and paste that short code in place. Then hit Control V or you can right click and go paste. And another thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm going to type in short code here. And I'm gonna add another one here and call it block because I wanna show you, you can also simply go to enter and click the plus symbol. I search for feed and I've got Instagram feed here and it will pop my Instagram feed there as well. So now we can preview. If we want to go ahead, we can publish it. But for now, I'm just going to preview because it's just a tutorial. I click preview in a new tab. And now when I scroll down, you'll see we have our short code. So this is the short code showing up the feed here with the buttons or we have the block. So essentially the same thing. So you can have short code or a block. And I do believe you have a widget also if you are still using widgets in your sidebar or widgetized areas. But otherwise that's how you can add those to your pages pretty easily. Considering the way WordPress is going with the block editor, using the block is probably gonna be the easiest solution for most people and work in most places. So anyway, that's the video for today. If you do wanna check out the pro version, don't forget to check out that link below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you like it. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon and have a great day.